Okay. Chapter four. Solidarity can be more important than numbers. Greater numbers often bring victory on the battlefield, but there is another, even more essential factor, solidarity. The Battle of Sekigahara in the year 1600, a fight for ultimate power after the death of warlord Toyotomi Hideyoshi, eloquently illustrates that truth. Tokugawa Ieyasu's army of the east faced off against Ishida Mitsunari's army of the west, but they were clearly outnumbered. The army's troop strength was so mismatched that three centuries later, a German staff officer assigned to advise the Japanese Imperial Army looked at the map of battlefield positions at Sekigahara and marveled. It's unbelievable that the army of the West could have lost. Sekigahara was the largest battle the world had ever seen, with 25,000 muskets in all. In firepower as well as manpower, the West had the clear advantage. Then why did they lose? Because they could, they could not match the army of the East in solidarity, that, in, that essential ingredient of victory. Ishida Mitsunari, Hideyoshi's retainer and heir, was not a popular figure. Kato Kiyomasa, Fukushima Masanori, and other courageous generals trained by Hideyoshi rose up against him. Moreover, discord between Hideyoshi's widow and Lady Yodo, his concubine, led to the treachery of Kobayakawa Hideaki at Sekigahara. Under those conditions, for the army of the West, the battle was as good as lost from the start. The Western army at Sekigahara lacked solidarity, the key to victory. Okay, that's uh, today's story, which is about the importance of solidarity. This uh, example uh, in this chapter is uh, battle. And uh, yeah, but uh, you know, battle is the place where people exchange life and death. So people become most serious. And at times in our day-to-day -day lives, we have as such a serious moment uh, when solidarity is most needed. Um, especially in the workplace, yeah, solidarity among co-workers and uh, among many uh, department, uh, solidarity or cohesion or unity is very much needed. <clears throat> when a company wants to sell a product, uh, there should be a solidarity between the production department and the sales department and the human resource department. All departments need to cooperate with each other. And in the same department, employees and the supervisors need to cooperate and uh, uh, help each other you know, from the bottom of their heart. Uh, for the for their common purpose, because they have shared purpose, uh, solidarity and uh, unity is necessary, because they have to go toward the same direction. <clears throat> if there is no solidarity, uh, yeah, like. Uh, 10 plus 10 doesn't become 20. 10 plus 10 becomes like uh, 5 or 3. 
uh, their manpower will decrease and uh, efficiency will decrease. So especially why this uh, example uh, is a, in this book because on our spiritual journey, uh, solidarity is very important. If we pursue our 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 ultimate goal of true happiness by ourselves uh, all alone in a, in a solitude situation, like a lone practitioner in the deep mountain, uh, we don't need solidarity because we are all alone. And but in Mahayana Buddhism, especially. Uh, people try to achieve true happiness all together, helping each other and uh, benefiting each other. Uh, solidarity is very important. This is yeah also called harmony. Harmony among Buddhist friends is very important. Uh, if we have harmony, uh, we can go forward much faster on our spiritual journey. So the example is battlefield, but uh, it, the same principle applies to our spiritual journey. Yeah, this is all human activity. Uh, our spiritual journey is like a battle. It's the fight against our blind passions and uh, our indolence we need to be motivated more and more so yeah uh, yeah harmony the number four of Shinran students uh, our our pledge is so number sorry number four uh, we will actively foster harmonious relations so let's keep this in mind and uh, make our best effort on our uh, spiritual path. Okay, that's what I can learn. I think I learned from this chapter. Okay, so that's all for today's afternoon meditation practice. Good job, everyone. See you next time.